don't trot out the term well-rounded in modern-day mixed martial arts more than we should, but this fighter certainly fits the bill. Oh, 110%. He can do everything inside the octagon. Where he is most comfortable is inside of that eight-sided structure where right. most men are terrified of being. But for this gentleman, he only wants to be there. When you try to wrestle him, he's able to defend takedown. If you dare stand and strike with him, he can knock you out. He's got all the tools necessary to become a UFC champion. His first martial art, mixed martial arts, <laughs> and that's not always the case. He believes that he should have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Well, they are not knocking the D2 National Wrestling Championship anymore because now Kamaru Usman has some UFC gold to go with it. A huge effort to dethrone Tyron Woodley not all that long ago, and now Usman's got that target on his back. And he also has an undying belief in himself. He believes that through all the hard work, the result will show when he steps in the octagon. He has underrated striking. And because everyone fears his wrestling, a lot of his striking opportunities open up even more. But the moment whose man grabs you, he can control you in a way that not many guys in the UFC can. We saw that in the Woodley fight. We saw that in the Dos Anjos fight. That's why he is the best fighter at 175. Your bout agreement says Kamaru Usman on it. Get ready. Grab a lunch bill. Grab a lunch bill. <laughs> Might need a helmet, too, if that's allowed. Kamaru Usman getting ready to go here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, and they both possess a similar height and reach. All right, now for the introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC. Walter White Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 11 wins, no losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, Hobbs and Boris Chibaya. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of. 20 wins, one loss. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting at a Boca Raton, Florida, Kamaru, the Nigerian Nightmare, Usman. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. You ready? So the fight is now underway on one side with the fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. Gonna be interesting to see how long he can keep it up with. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Elbow deep takes it for a ride. What a high impact takedown that was. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. That is a heavy right hand from Kamar Usman. I'm not sure how many more his opponent can take. He broke Kobe Covington's jaw with that exact same strike. When he lands, he can shut your lights out. You saw what he did to Mariah. I mean, he put him out with that right hand. He's become a great striker as his career has gone on. Oh. He didn't like that right hand. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. That one was going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> right hand punches the clinch. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head, land the punch after punch. You have got the clinch. Oh, how many knees can one man take? Just over 20 total strikes have landed for Kamaru Usman. Single collar tie now. Oh, beautiful job with the ankle pick to get him down. Now we'll see where he chooses to go from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. And he connects there, DC. Great job landing that punch. Oh, nice elbow. And they separate. 
He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. There's another uppercut. DC, you got a pretty good uppercut. I'm not sure it's as good as his, but pretty good. It's not as good as this guy's. Because uh -huh. this guy can throw it on both sides, and he throws it with the same... Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now, because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Trying to stay in this fight! And they separate. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even Whoa! see him limping a little bit. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Big punch from the clinch. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position. All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here. Second round, straight ahead. All right, so there's the end of the round. And on one side, thrill on the other agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. Disappointed. 